This thing on? Oh, yeah, yeah. YouTube, we live, baby. So this video is about how to land a career job without a college degree. Started off when I first started working in high school. I had bills, you know, I had a cell phone bill that I had to pay myself and any nice clothes that uh, I wanted that were expensive. Oh yeah, that was definitely coming out of my pocket. So in high school, I probably worked at almost every fast food place you can think of. I can flip a burger, I can make chicken, I can all that I learned at those fast food places, but it came a point where I was graduating. I, I had to decide, you know, Am I gonna go to work? Am I gonna go to the military? Or am I gonna go to college? So the school system kind of pressures people into going to school. My friends also pressured me into going to school, even though I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. So I went to HBCU, it was a lot of fun, but I still had bills. I still had so much things to pay for. I did not have a car and I knew I needed a job to save up to get a car because where I was living, it, it just wasn't possible to not have one. I'm still in school at this point. I'm still working. Um, um, it was just extremely tough juggling both. Um, and it came a point where I decided, look, I have to work full time. I have to put in more than 40 hours a week because I want to make a lot of money and I want to do it now. I withdrew from school. I was still working odd jobs. I didn't know what I wanted to do, what path I wanted to take. At one point, I was working two jobs. I was a delivery driver at one point. I just didn't know. And then I needed an oil change. I went to the car dealership because I eventually saved up, saved up to get a car. I went to the car dealership and I saw the people in the dealership. They were about the same age as me. And I'm just wondering, uh, I go up to him and ask, hey, uh, like, how did you start working here? Like, how did you get on here? And he told me to apply. And he he really, he, he gassed the situation. He said, car salesmen, they make 150, bro. I'm making 100,000 a year. He really gassed the situation because I got the job. And then I realized he wasn't making that much money. He wasn't. And neither did I. But I was good at the job. I was selling a good amount of cars. And I realized that, yo, this is what I need to do. I'm good at sales. Let me stay in this field. And that's what's most important about it all. From that point, I decided to stick to sales because I was good at it. Now, if you are not working or let's say if you love your job now and or you hate your manager, but you love what you do at your job. Let's say you're working at H&M. You don't want to go work in sales next or work in the car industry or wherever else next. You want to stick in that field. Go work at Air Crombie or something of that nature. I was moving to Austin. And my girlfriend, she had already landed a, a really solid job. I didn't want to stick to the same type of job. I wanted to upgrade to the next level. But at this point, I had four years of sales experiences. I stuck to the same service. So it was a few things that I needed to really improve on that I had I haven't already started doing at that point. My resume. Um, my resume was shot. I thought my resume looked really good because I spent a lot of time on it while I was working those other jobs. But little did I know, I had so many just typos alone in the resume, which paying attention to detail is probably on every interview question. So I knew my resume was really bad and I needed it to be a lot better. Put action verbs in the, in the detail experience. You know, I kept it to one page. I did everything that I needed to do on a resume, which there is a lot. If you want inf more information on your resume, you know, just leave a comment below. I can make another video on resumes. It's completely up to you. Or you could also Google um, a lot because you can find a lot on, inter on the internet, you know, on how to build resumes. And some people even pay other people to do it. Uh, but just let me know if you want an another video on that. So next at that point, I'm still looking for a job. My resume is a lot better. And I just, I, I thought, you know, I don't have a LinkedIn. What is LinkedIn? What is this professional my space, if you want to call it. So I created a LinkedIn, which those are extremely important as well. There's a few things you really have to work on and LinkedIn is one of them. 
Um, the point of LinkedIn is you connect with friends and family and things of that nature, and you see their professional experience. Uh, you'll be surprised at some of your friends or some people you might know from high school or things of that nature, where they're working, and, and you know, you might want to actually work there. You might like that job. You don't have a detailed job description on the experience portion of your LinkedIn, then recruiters can't find you because recruiters can reach out to you about a job before you even apply. And it can be a job that you've always wanted. Networking is so important these days on LinkedIn, on social media, uh, in person. So you want to think about it that way when it comes to LinkedIn and all these other sites that you can use to connect with other people. Also at your job. Let's say you love your job right now, but you want to move up or you want another position at your job because you feel like you will like it better. You need to shoot that shot because you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. It's super important that you you let it be known what you're trying to do in your future to the higher to the higher ups. And a lot of people, they actually cancel out opportunities because they never apply. They see on the website, it says degree preferred. That's just a preference. It's not an ultimatum. You know, it's not this or that. Now, if it says required, okay, maybe. But look, I shot my shot so many times. I am times. gonna drop my LinkedIn description or my LinkedIn link below. Uh, so if you wanna take a look at my LinkedIn and if you wanna get a little, a few ideas on how you should build yours out, definitely take a look. But if you want me to create a, another YouTube video on LinkedIn, I can also do that. Just leave a comment below and I will. So moral of the story is you have to think about what you want in the future. If you're thinking now, look, I want to be a GM of a clothing store and you're working at H&M, don't go work other jobs or cancel out that one job for something that's not even similar to it at all. It comes a point where you're doing interviews and you're getting told no, you're getting told no. Look, that's just life. Nothing is really handed to you. You're going to get those no's, but it's about the mindset of how, of what to do afterwards. You have to think about it as, wow, they messed up. I was going to be their best employee and go on to the next interview and the next interview. Now, those are the few things that uh, what you should do in order to land a career job without a college degree. Five years from now, you want to be this, but you're not even in that field at all. Try to get in that field and stay in that field. There's a lot more to it as well. A few more pointers that could help uh, that will be coming in part two. Maybe not. I don't know. So I just want to thank y'all for watching this YouTube video. Um, more will be coming for sure. So of course, subscribe below. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, I'll put that below. Uh, but more content is coming soon. Thank you for checking me out.